Here in Dorset, hundreds of mute swans gather each year to breed. For the last few weeks, pairs have built nests in reed beds on the edge of a tidal lagoon. Now they're just beginning to incubate. One threat to the eggs is hard to avoid. Most nests are likely to be flooded at least once during the season. So it's important that the eggs should be waterproof. And indeed, a swan's egg has an outer layer that waterproofs it without suffocating the chick. But water isn't the biggest danger. It's what's carried in the water. Eggs can be infected by bacteria, and bacteria can travel in water and so get in through the pores. Adult birds have an immune system that can fight off microbes that might invade their nest. But the developing embryos don't. It's a battle of bug versus bird. Microbes might get inside the egg through its pores and consume the developing embryo within. But the eggs have a special protection. It's known as SAM, SAM. The letters stand for shell accessory material and it's a microscopic protective layer that all eggs have, whether or not they're laid near water. This is the egg's first line of defense. And this is the second. This colorless substance is one of nature's most remarkable and mysterious materials. It's the albumin that acts as a barrier, both biological and physical. To a microbe, traveling through the albumin to the yolk is like a human trying to walk across a desert. There's nothing to sustain life. But albumin contains lots of other things. Over 100 antimicrobial proteins have been identified in it so far, and it seems likely that many more remain to be discovered. It might be hard for us to grasp that the white we see in our chicken eggs at breakfast is such a miraculous defense system. But it's the egg's way of defending itself against microbes that would, given half a chance, consume the developing embryo. Protected by albumin and nourished by the yolk, the embryo continues to grow. As it does so, it generates water. We do this too when we eat, and we get rid of at least some of such water as vapor when we breathe. The chick does something similar, and water vapor diffuses through the pores in the shell. The loss of this water creates a space at the blunt end of the egg. As the embryo develops, so the air space increases, and the oxygen it contains will help to give the chick the energy it needs to help it crack the shell when it starts to hatch. 